Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. As you can see, I'm putting some water inside of a steel vessel to which I'm gonna be adding an egg. Now this isn't gonna be particularly interesting until I add some frozen CO2, as you can see here. This will increase the pressure inside the vessel and the CO2 will react with the water forming carbonic acid. So let's go ahead and seal this up and let her sit for a while and see what it does to the egg. Since I can't see inside of the vessel, I also added some eggshells to a two liter bottle along with some dry ice. This won't get to nearly as high a pressure, but at least I'll be able to see what's going on. And when the reaction is complete here, I'll know that it certainly is complete inside the vessel. I'm actually recreating the natural process that forms limestone caves. Rainwater dissolves CO2 from the atmosphere, forming carbonic acid, which dissolves the calcium carbonate. Since eggshells are also made from calcium carbonate, I should be able to dissolve them with the carbonic acid. In nature, it takes a long time to dissolve calcium carbonate in rainwater. In my geology class, we figured that it was on the order of millimeters per century. But I figured I could accelerate the rate significantly by increasing the pressure of CO2 and the concentration. You are currently watching 12 hours of the time lapse which I attempted to make of this. Unfortunately, even accelerated a thousand times from what would happen in nature, it was still way too long for me to time lapse. In fact, it took 37 days to get the eggshells to this point here. As you can see, the eggshells are dissolved and all that's left is the collagen membrane. So let's go ahead and have a look at the egg which I sealed inside of the pressure vessel. Once I got it cracked open, I let it sit for a few hours to slowly depressurize so the egg wouldn't immediately explode. And it looked like that had worked until, well, I'll let you guys see what happened. Well, that uh, didn't work out very well, did it? The liquids in the egg puffed up and exploded due to the CO2 coming out of solution. The shell, however, remained relatively intact and you can see that it's got significant karsting. I mean, compare it to this egg that hasn't gone through the same treatment. The shell is also much thinner as you can see from me just breaking it there. I think the reason why it didn't completely dissolve is I just didn't have enough water. And to be honest, the egg was probably pretty rotten anyway after sitting for over a month. But the eggshell pieces did completely dissolve, so let's go ahead and uh, do something with these. Let's start by filtering the calcium bicarbonate solution to remove those collagen bits. And as you can see, I've got it on a pan, which is sitting on the stove. As I warm the water up, the CO2 is coming out of solution. And calcium bicarbonate is only stable in acidic solutions containing dissolved CO2. Which means as I drive off the CO2, the calcium bicarbonate will turn back into calcium carbonate, which will precipitate from the solution. And indeed, it appears to have done just that. After letting it cool and pouring off most of the water, I went ahead and evaporated it dry, and as you can see, I'm left with a very fine white powder of calcium carbonate. This material closely resembles precipitate chalk, which is found in tropical regions, which makes sense because, again, as the water warms up, it drops its load of carbonate. Here is a diagram showing all the chemical reactions that happen here. One thing I find that is interesting is that the CO2 gas is actually pulled out of the atmosphere when carbonate is dissolving and is released when carbonate is being precipitated. I actually noticed that the pressure inside the bottle seemed to have dropped. This is, of course, because the CO2 is being used up by the carbonation reactions as the shales dissolved. In nature, one of the major processes that removes CO2 from the atmosphere is the weathering of rocks. This means that if you have a mountain, which is made of carbonate rocks, that gets uplifted, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere will drastically decrease. And this may lead to lowering in global temperatures. In fact, the Pleistocene epoch started about the same time as the Himalayas began uplifting. This means that Mount Everest may have actually caused the Ice Age. Isn't that just amazing? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.